today i am going to discuss about uh, pointers in c sharp dot net so what is pointer then uh, c sharp dot net uh, uh, will support uh, pointers in what way then we will discuss now okay right pointers so first of all a pointer is a variable pointer is a variable which stores which stores address of another variable pointer is a variable which stores address of another variable the next uh, the code that has been written using pointers in c sharp dot net that code is called unsafe code okay so unsafe code means the code is not safe side that means so clr do not provide any security for pointers code so that's what the code that has been written using pointers is known as unsafe code then unsafe code uh, you must and should write in in within the unsafe block or within the unsafe class then most important thing is unsafe code you should write using unsafe keyword only okay so unsafe keyword you have to use then that all unsafe code can be placed in unsafe block or else unsafe class so using pointers we can uh, use unsafe block and unsafe class okay so pointer code is unsafe code to make the code is unsafe you should use unsafe code keyword then unsafe code compulsory should be compiled and execute with unsafe options only unsafe code is compulsory to compile and execute with what options unsafe options so pointer is a variable which stores address of another variable okay which will be store address of another variable and the pointer code is unsafe code in c sharp dot net because the code that has been written using pointer is known as unsafe code unsafe code compulsory we should write in unsafe block using unsafe keyword so this block is unsafe block here you have to write pointer code otherwise we can make a class as unsafe like this unsafe class class name unsafe class class name then we can make this pointer code here so anyways we can do this pointer code using compulsory unsafe keyword and mostly then whenever you write the unsafe code here using unsafe block or unsafe class that compulsory that unsafe code can be compiled and execute with unsafe options only so so far we discussed many programs in console application but when we have written that uh, programs in console application that all are executing directly but whenever we write the pointer code that code is not executed directly so that's what we have to activate allow unsafe code here okay so to declare a pointer we should have syntax here what is the syntax to declare a pointer variable here i am giving syntax to declare a pointer variable that is data type data type asterisk asterisk variable name variable name for example data type is integer asterisk x is a variable name here x is a pointer variable x is a pointer variable which stores which stores address of address of integer value x is a pointer variable which stores address of integer value here okay so now we will discuss with the practical implementation about pointers i will write two examples i will show two examples one example is what with unsafe block one example is for with unsafe class two example will show right but uh, c sharp dot net will support pointers in what way with unsafe code mechanism because so whenever we use pointer concepts in c sharp dot net clr do not provide any security clr is not take any responsibility to provide security for unsafe code so the code is not safe side here so unsafe block it is and it is unsafe class both examples we will see practical implementation okay right first let's check out uh, i will show one simple example with the uh, pointers using unsafe block so let's flip to visual studio first of all let's add class with name cls pointer now let me do that 
class name is CLS pointer dot CS. Here it is class, class name is CLS pointer. Now let me take unsafe block here. Before that, let us give an value that is in a equal to 10 value. So, a equal to 10, okay, it is a value. So, now I am using unsafe keyword. So, you can use unsafe keyword, then unsafe keyword here I am using this block is what block? Unsafe block we can consider, okay. This block is unsafe block, right. Unsafe block it is. Now, in this block I am going to give that pointer value, pointer code I can place in this block only. So, how do we declare pointer? Then you can see int uh, that is data type asterisk x is a pointer variable. Then I want to represent a, another variable, pointer is a variable which stores address of another variable. So, that is what I want to represent another variable called what? So, here a, then you want to represent through pointer variable then you should use ampersand symbol then a it is here clearly. Then I want to take a int asterisk x equal to ampersand a. So, a is not coming. Why it is not coming? You can see here there is no main method we include. So, that is what it is not coming. Let us flip to main method. Now, let me create a value that is and let me take one unsafe code that is here. Then let me represent pointer variable in text equal to ampersand a. Now, you will be able to get a here you can see. Then I want to, to write some statements here console dot write line value of a is plus asterisk x. Then console dot write line address of a is plus int x. Then next what I am going to do this here I am going to take console dot read to stay back to our screen console dot read here. So, this is pointer code it is very simple pointer is a variable which stores address of another variable address of another variable is a, a variable address I want to store using pointers then you know that pointer code can be uh, written that using what uh, unsafe keyword within unsafe block or unsafe class. Now, we are showing this example within unsafe block only this entire the block is called unsafe block we can say. So, within the unsafe block what code is there pointer code is there pointer representation is what data type asterisk pointer variable x x is a variable which stores address of another variable another variable is what a. So, we are representing that variable through pointers. So, here I am going to find out value of a what value is there then after that address of a is there ok that is integer type casting here x is ok console dot read. But you can see unsafe code is showing underlined red mark here that means what? So, unsafe code is not allowed to execute actually. So, CLR do not provide any security for unsafe code, but though it is not provide security code we are saying unsafe no. So, that is what it is not required security. So, then you can see go to solution explorer unsafe code compulsory should compile unsafe options only compile and run or compile and execute with what options unsafe options. So, now let me select uh, go to solution explorer and double click on properties here I am changing start up object that is CLS pointer here. So, where CLS pointer class you can see CLS pointer is there then click on save it and uh, execute, but when I am going to execute what is happen you can see this. So, you will be able to see that an error message you can see unsafe code may only appear if compiling with the uh, unsafe options here it is showing. So, that means the code is not running the code is going to be execute previous code what we discussed. So, that is running. So, pointer code is not executing, but how do we uh, run that pointer code clearly? So, I, I told you already if you want to uh, uh, execute the pointer code in dot net then compulsory we should compile and execute with what options unsafe options, but unsafe options how do we set in visual studio you can go to solution explorer simply and double click on what properties and after that you can click on build option here after application here build option then there you will make it here allow unsafe code is there 
then you can click on activate the checkbox allow unsafe code then after that click on save it now once if we activate this allow unsafe code then dotnet or clr is allowed to run unsafe code so that is clearly run when i'm going to start you can see value of a is what 10 value i have given then value address of a is what here address is storing in 94104920 here okay this is address of a and value of a whenever i'm going to rerun the application and the address is going to be changed here okay right so this is pointer code with what a unsafe block here this entire the block is called what unsafe block we can consider okay so let's do one more example with the unsafe class as i told that pointer code can be right using unsafe keyword within the unsafe block or within the unsafe class so we have shown already example with unsafe block now let me show an example with unsafe class how do we make a class as unsafe so for that let me take another class here you can see add class class name i am taking just cls pointer 1 cls pointer 1 it is i am taking now this class i am making it as what unsafe so to make class as unsafe you should use what keyword unsafe keyword here it is unsafe keyword now i am going to take this method is static void uh, but it is a uh, square function i'm going to take static wide square and pointer representation in text then open close console dot write line then here i'm writing some statement square value is square value is plus star x and star x okay this is pointer representation for square value the next what i'm going to take next method static wide then cube value I'm taking then int uh, star x then after that I'm going to take console dot right line then cube value is cube value is plus then like this okay right so here this is unsafe class unsafe keyword i use class class pointer name is uh, point uh, cls pointer one is a class name it is having two functions square and integer as uh, cube values now let me create a main method here what value you want to represent through pointers now let me discuss that int a equal to for example eight value i want to represent then how do we represent that is through pointers then you know that clearly pointer variable is uh, then is there is a square function is there square of what value you want to represent in asterisk x pointer it is asking now you can see so asterisk no oh, sorry ampersand a a value i want to represent that then after that what cube value cube of ampersand again a value then to stay back to our screen console dot read here to stay back to our screen console dot read method okay read method now you can see when i'm going to execute this so you need not to again activate checkbox allow unsafe code one time is enough then we are allowing that uh, unsafe code in this visual studio environment so let me change the startup object to run this pointer class code here so this is cls pointer one cls pointer one and click on save it and run it you can see cls pointer one square value is what eight square 64 and cube value is eight cubes five one twelve it's there so we are representing these values through pointers so pointer is a variable which stores address of another variable so pointer is this is a variable pointer here now you can see here it is i'm using what class unsafe class so we can write pointers code using unsafe unsafe keyword within the unsafe block or unsafe class in previous program what we have shown within the unsafe block this entire the pointer code is unsafe block and cls pointer one is there it is what unsafe class here so either you can use pointers code within the unsafe block or unsafe class whatever it is but whatever you use unsafe code in cshop.net clr is not provide any security for 
pointer's code. That is what we are saying it is a unsafe code. Okay. So, these are all about uh, pointers. So, pointer concept is uh, prerequisites for uh, delegates here. Okay. So, that is what uh, whenever I am going to discuss delegates. So, you can remember these pointers also here. So, delegates are different. Okay. So, delegate is delegates are function pointers actually. We will be discussing next session that is in delegates. So, these are all about uh, pointers. It is very simple. 